Homeward Bound, March 1, Just As We Are. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. Matthew 11, verse 28. Some seem to feel that they must be on probation and must prove to the Lord that they are reformed before they can claim His blessing. But they may claim the blessing of God even now. They must have His grace, the Spirit of Christ, to help their infirmities, or they cannot resist evil. Jesus loves to have us come to Him just as we are, sinful, helpless, dependent. We may come with all our weakness, our folly, our sinfulness, and fall at His feet in penitence. It is His glory to encircle us in the arms of His love and to bind up our wounds, to cleanse us from all impurity. Here is where thousands fail. They do not believe that Jesus pardons them personally, individually. They do not take God at His word. It is the privilege of all who comply with the conditions to know for themselves that pardon is freely extended for every sin. Put away the suspicion that God's promises are not meant for you. They are for every repentant transgressor. Strength and grace have been provided through Christ to be brought by ministering angels to every believing soul. None are so sinful that they cannot find strength, purity, and righteousness in Jesus, who died for them. He is waiting to strip them of their garments stained and polluted with sin, and to put upon them the white robes of righteousness. He bids them live and not die. God does not deal with us as finite human beings deal with one another. His thoughts are thoughts of mercy, love, and tenderest compassion. He says, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions, and as a cloud thy sins. I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord God. Wherefore turn yourselves, and live ye. Satan is ready to steal away the blessed assurances of God. He desires to take every glimmer of hope and every ray of light from the soul. But you must not permit him to do this. Do not give ear to the tempter, but say, Jesus has died that I might live. He loves me and wills not that I should perish. I have a compassionate Heavenly Father. Steps to Christ, pages 52 and 53.